Hi guys, this video is sponsored by mylikes.com. Don't forget to check out oatlook.com to check out the latest designer goods for less. There's some awesome hair tools and also natural hair products. So don't forget to sign up, subscribe for email notifications for great deals. Hi guys. All right, so today is basically a trial and error video. I am not sure if any of you guys have ever suffered from sore scalp, but this crown area for me, like right up in here, for some reason, if I go a while without washing my hair, it it just like, it's on fire. I mean, like all of this up in here, like from here all the way up through through this area, crown area, um, it gets really tender like when I go to move my hair from left to right you know it's it's really kinda sore um and I guess while I'm in this lighting and whatnot I'll really dig deep into my texture and also my uh, my grays because I'm not sure if any of my other videos have ever really highlighted them of how much I'm graying um, and I'm I'm not coloring yet, but basically I'm about to wash my hair. I have gone almost three weeks without washing my hair. And I don't recommend going that long, especially now, which I'm showing you this video to keep you guys from getting a sore scalp. But I've heard that this soothes. A sore scalp milk so I am going to try it out and see how my hair reacts to it my scalp reacts to it be the guinea pig for you guys um, normally this is what I use I just use regular old extra virgin olive oil but it's really sore so I know like as like an old home remedy um, milk has been used for like burns and stuff like that so I'm not exactly sure why I think it has something to do with the pH of it I know they use it for like if your tooth is knocked out of your mouth so I'm thinking that maybe that will help to calm my scalp down because ultimately I guess that's probably why this area appears so sensitive but it could become so sensitive that it actually causes a headache not sure if you guys know what I'm talking about but if I'm not using the milk normally I would just um, use the extra virgin olive oil which I guess I'm gonna go ahead and prep my hair since I got you guys here on camera but I just take the extra virgin olive oil and I just pour it in my hand like so rub it together and then just rub it all over my head my hair and then like if the area up here is inflamed or sore sensitive then you know just take the olive oil and then just apply it directly onto the scalp to get it to calm down but in this case I'm going to take the milk and I guess you could probably do this a number of ways you could put this in a spray bottle or you could just dump it over your head. I'm just going to literally dump it over my head as I get in the shower. And so I can't take you guys in there with me. But just dumping it on the head. Okay. Um, and then I'll be back and let you guys know. Like you know how it works for me. So I'll just continue to prep my hair for washing and I'm just doing this so that because I'm going to be using shampoo, I just like to do this. Helps to detangle my hair and my hair doesn't feel so stripped um, after I wash it when I do this. I'm not really a big deep conditioner. I probably should do more deep conditioning, but 
for the sake of time. It just feels like when I deep condition, I end up on my hair all day long. And it's been years since I've done an all day hair type regimen. Like, I just have so much going on in my life. It doesn't seem like I have enough time to really mess with my hair all day. But maybe I'll do that this weekend while I'm cleaning up or running errands or something. Alright, so I've got the olive oil all over my hair. I like it, my hair at a consistency to where it, it, it looks kind of oily, greasy, stringy. I would definitely never just apply this much product to my hair to just wear. So once it looks super oily, then I will go ahead and get in the shower. And actually my scalp is already calming down a little bit, so I'm going to try the milk. I'll be back in a minute to tell you guys how it worked for me. Alright, so I am out of the shower now, and I did try the milk on my hair, and my scalp, it, it does, it feels a lot better. It's not tender anymore. I mean, that could be a combination of the olive oil, just washing it, the water on my scalp, but um, i trying to think from previous times I've had sore scalp. Um, yeah, it, it, it does feel a lot better than normal. I also noticed, I'm going to show you guys the shampoo and conditioner that I used this time. I had a lot less shedding in the shower this time when I washed and conditioned my hair. My curls are back. They've been missing for a while with my move and everything. And just, you know, the last several months of last year, I didn't really do a whole lot to my hair while I wasn't making videos like... My hair was like not nah, mess <laughs> back in a bun. So <clears throat> you guys didn't miss much as far as my hair regimen is concerned. I've gotten a lot of questions asking, you know, have I updated my routine at all? And the answer is no. I've been kind of neglecting my hair as far as deep conditioners are concerned. I haven't been applying a whole lot of heat to my hair. I haven't been trying to think like I haven't been coloring my hair or anything like that but I've just been just kind of putting it up so it hasn't been manipulated a whole lot and I haven't been curling it or doing much to it you know kind of not so cute but <laughs> you know sometimes you go through periods in life where your hair is not the priority um, seasons just whatever you have going on a lot of stuff going on in your life career work whatever kids and so your hair kind of takes the back burner and that's kind of what my hair did for the last five or six months but I am back to my normal hair routine so I decided I was going to try some new products out for my hair and I tried the Garnier Fructis the Sleek and Shine this is for frizzy dry unmanageable hair um, and then I got the Sleek and Shine um, Fortifying Conditioner, Sleek and Shine. And this is my first time using it, <clears throat> and I like it. So far, so good. I had a lot less shedding um, with this wash than I normally do, so that's always a plus. I just kind of thought that the hair, the amount of hair I was losing in my previous you know times that I wash my hair was just normal so I even though I'm almost five years natural still am learning new things about my hair because you get in a routine and a rut and you like use the same products and you're like if it's not broke don't fix it if you're like me I'm not I'm not a product junkie at all I have five or six staples that I use and because I love clothes and shoes so much because my hair is in a place where I feel like it's under control, it's growing, it's flourishing. I don't really need to try anything new, but I decided to go ahead and try new shampoo and conditioners because there may be something to shedding. Um, also, just the condition of my hair, maybe less detangling time, and you know, 
the overall sheen and just manageability and then just overall condition of my hair maybe I would see an improvement using something else so I'll let you guys know as time progresses as far as results from like the shampoo and conditioner if I notice any difference in like sheen or you know how soft my hair is or something like that but so far I like it just for the simple fact that I had a lot less shedding than normal um, I wore my hair straight for a while my curls are looking pretty good so I am excited to style it I will definitely be trying to work on some spring and summer hair looks I definitely want to play with my hair a lot more this spring and summer do some fun braids and just designs and just do some real funky stuff so you guys can get another side to my personality um, and that's it guys uh, there's a lot of questions on a lot of my videos as far as hair is concerned because when I first started YouTube most of my videos were hair videos and so if you have questions please post them below to at this video I'm really gonna try to do a question and answer which used to be something I did on a monthly basis when I first started making videos two years ago um, about hair but if you go through my videos if you are a new subscriber you'll you'll see that a lot of my question and answers I try to retouch those same topics that are seem to be reoccurring questions for people who may not have seen those videos I rarely subscribe to people and go through all 200 and something of their videos so I, I get that but at the same time um, because I don't make them as often a lot of the information I don't want to keep you know boring you with the same repetitive information so there is a catalog of videos if you click my button up here um, that says uh, pretty little things by Cormine has my little picture up there or maybe it's on this side it'll take you to my page with all my videos and you can just scroll through my videos and see my routine and what I recommend what I think about hair and trimming and coloring and you know heat training whatever uh, so wigs weaves um, shampoos conditioners the whole nine yard when it comes to natural hair so anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed my first is this my first natural hair video for 2012 well I hope not but um I hope you enjoyed this video hope maybe the milk idea helps you with your sore scalp if you have any sore scalp remedies or um, stories then I want to hear them below maybe post a video response to this video but thanks for watching guys like always peace oh don't forget to subscribe um, and visit my website and yeah that's it thanks for watching peace and god bless